In this video you will see how to solve a Rubik's Cube with a phone, with a laptop, without looking at the cube, using clone mode and even having only cross piece. I'm Ihor, you are on Cubastic channel, let's start challenges. So the first challenge is to solve a Rubik's Cube with a phone. I will touch a display with my fingers and turn the cube in the phone. So let's scramble our cube. Go to the page of selection, choose a cube, 3x3 three three, and scramble it. So it's scrambling on its own. Let's take a look at our scramble and start to solve. I've planned something and here we go. Well, it looks quite easy. It is easy to repeat and in general you can even practice this way if you don't have a cube with you. Hmm. I hope I'll cope with it at least in half a minute. One algorithm is left. The last moves. Oh, a bit failed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it doesn't turn like that. And the last move. 37 seconds. If you have already used this kind of application and sold a Rubik's Cube in your phone, write in the comments what result you got. The cube is sold, we can proceed to the next challenge. So, the next challenge is to solve a Rubik's Cube with a laptop. Here, for comparison, our usual Rubik's Cube. But if you don't have this and you want to solve a Rubik's Cube, go to the website CS Timer. And there we go to the Options tab, select Timer, then uh, entering in time with and choose a virtual cube. After that we close the option tab and see this beautiful Rubik's Cube. Let me first try to solve this scramble on a regular Rubik's Cube at speed and then I will solve a virtual cube with the same scramble. Let's see how much faster or slower I can do it. Here we go. Let's make sure they look the same. So I got 8 seconds and now we'll try to solve a virtual cube. So it's very unusual to do this using the keyboard of a laptop. Whoa, we had solved two pairs at once, wow! Well, a little later I will tell you how… Whoa! Oh no, it didn't work. Well, well… Uh... Oh, 18 seconds. Well, during my next attempt, I will tell you a little more about how it all works. 18 seconds is fast enough, I think, for a virtual cube. Well, I really liked it, so let's try again and compare my results. Here we go. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit more about controls, because I'm not keen at navigating, I've been doing it on my laptop a long time ago. And let's again uh, scramble a usual cube first. Here it is, you can check it in this window. It will look the same when I click on the spacebar. We took the cube, we checked and start. So, so, okay, okay, we do it this way. Do the algorithm and 939, quite slow, but maybe we can solve a virtual cube in 9 seconds too. So now we see the timer on the right, press the spacebar and can inspect our cube. I remind you that by pressing Q we do Z rotation and A for Y rotation. Then for F turn G and H, U upper face as I understand it I and K is for R turning. I think these movements are enough and we can start solving it. Ok, let's see what interesting things I can do with it. Let's try to solve a cross. Ok, a first pair. A second one. Front face. Anti soon and PLL. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah, 16 seconds, it's even faster than the previous solve. And the difference between solving a Rubik's Cube and this one is not big, only 7 seconds. This result is not bad. I think you can practice like this. And you can try at any time to solve a virtual Rubik's Cube using a laptop, computer or any other device. By the way, here it is written how much faster this solve was compared to the previous one, the number of movements I've made and 
turns per second. Very nice, moving on. For the next challenge I took this cube and our task is to solve it. To be honest, I peeled the stickers of a regular smart cube. This is a pretty unusual model. It has uh, this blue plastic inside it and it has uh, these magnet capsules that look pretty. Let me just connect it with my laptop and uh, try to solve this cube. Devices make some movements so the computer see this cube. Try to connect. Verification. Okay, that's it. It sees my cube. Now it's solved. Let me understand where which side is. So this is a bottom. This is front. This is you. In general, this is enough for us. Let's go to training, timer, and let's scramble this cube. For this, we do you and you prime, and we can scramble it. Okay. I can't see anything the way I see it on a regular cube. All the information I have is that yellow is probably here, white here, and green here. We can start solving. I'll probably start with a yellow. Let's check it. So, cross. Uh, did I solve the cross or not? I can't understand. Oh, I did it. Okay, now we have solved one pair. Pair in the back. One more. What all L is this? We did all L. You perm. And I solved it. 24 seconds. Wow. That was fast enough. We can see here my TPS. Three and a half turns per second. 85 turns, rather not so effective, but it doesn't matter, it's still an interesting challenge. I think if you don't have much money, you can try something like that. For example, you can use a regular smart cube, hide the cube under the table and look exclusively at the screen. This app is available on phones and some uh, notebooks, so this challenge is quite easy to repeat. Let's move on to the most modern challenge of this video. This is Rubik's Cube Clone Mode. Do you remember this cube? This is Xmars V2, very awesome puzzle which has a lot of modes. One of them is self solving After we leave it lying down for a few seconds, it will begin to solve itself. Come on. It likes to run away from everyone when it solves itself. Oh, and it's solved. Let's move on to clone mode. First cube and second cube. Wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Now we can scramble one of them. And the second cube will repeat my movements. We will put it on the stand. You can do some pretty interesting tricks using clone mode. For example, you or your friend can hide in another room and you can pretend that you are turning a cube with the power of mind the upper face, the front, and so on. Now we will scramble one of the cubes. The second cube will repeat all my movements. Look at this. And you can see now, these cubes are the same. Green side, yellow, blue, purple, and red. Now I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm gonna step out of this room and solve this cube remotely. So it will be a trick like this. I'm gonna leave the studio and solve a cube. Well guys, we finished our little trick. I managed to solve the cube it was a clone mode, quite interesting. And uh, there are many cool modes here, by the way. We will definitely do a lot of challenges with this cube. But now we're moving on to the most exciting challenge of today's video. We will solve a Rubik's Cube only having a cross piece. There are quite a lot of smart cubes, they look very different. This, for example, is blue inside and white outside. And we have a smart monster go cube like this and I took it apart with my hands and connected it to my notebook. Now we can see on the screen that each movement of the piece makes the same piece of a virtual cube move. 
Let's move on to the solve, this is very interesting and really difficult challenge. Turning is quite difficult and uh, it's very easy to fail here. Ok, training, timer and let's start. Ok, we're scrambling it. It's a bit hard to do it with a cross piece. There is almost nothing to inspect here. Uh, I need to fix this detail a bit. I'll take a time for it. Oh, the time is on. Ok, uh, let's try to begin. Ok, what do we have here? Pam pam. Double turn. God, everything falls apart. Seems to me one more pair. Damn it, the cross has fallen apart. The main thing is not to fail. Oh, almost a minute has passed. These finger tricks are something weird. Oh, I did it. What a beautiful number. 1.09555. 105 turns and 1.5 TPS. That was a tough challenge. I hope I don't often have to solve it with a cross piece. It was tough. These were all challenges for today. Write in the comments which you liked the most. Maybe you have already done some of them. Thanks for watching. That was Iher Cubastic channel. Subscribe to our channel, like this video, ring the bell and write comments. We're here for you. By the way, we're working on lots of new tutorials. So turn on the bell and wait for it.